Well, as you can see also, by, first of all, by the answers uh, that were given uh, by the Prime Ministers on their way in, uh, commending the effectiveness of the way the Parliament uh, has responded to this incident, to this attack. It is not, a, it is not one that stops here, which is why uh, the reforms will need to be made. I also want to clarify that what we are talking about is an investigation that was conducted by the intelligence law enforcement and judicial authorities of this country, which we have always cooperated with and which we did immediately upon being informed. But at the end of the day, this is also about criminal corruption. And it is about individuals who find themselves in a position, if I can say, where they do not refuse a bag of cash, but also in a position where a bag of cash is offered to them. So the strength of my words were inspired by that as well, because the hard work done by the European Parliament made up of 705 members while, yes, overshadowed by what happened, should not take away from the fundamental principles that we hold dear, from the rules that we have already, can be tightened, can be improved, some can be overhauled. But at the end of the day, this corruption was investigated, was uncovered, and was caught. And it was caught because of the fact that there was full and open cooperation and coordination between the services of the Parliament and the authorities in this country, in Belgium, just like why we would with the authorities in every country. Perhaps one word to add is we are also bound by national law in this regard, with regards to, for example, the lifting of privileges and immunities with regards to how searches are conducted. So perhaps something that we could also look into. I didn't mention the transparency register yet. I hope to be able to get into a little bit of detail, but also in the way our criminal laws on a national level could be better aligned in order to be able to tackle such cross-border allegations and crimes and investigations. Uh, which would help also in terms of the way we respond as an institution, but also as to what we can do as all institutions. I think there was a sentiment in the room that institutions share the need for us to do things properly, uh, and that is something that we will do.